Yay! Monday, November 28th, the last Monday of November. Um, I will be wearing Christmas ties all month, but Christmas is not your tie game answer. Book Report is not due in seven days. It's due on the 14th, which is actually 16 days, I think. Uh, we'll talk about that here in a moment. We have a bell work. Uh, for those of you at home, here is the bell work. We're going to be starting a novel tomorrow, so these are the five things that connect. You're going to have to go through and tell me if you agree or disagree with each one, and then you'll hear us talk about it. I have enjoyed getting revenge on someone in the past, too. Any kid that gets the attention of the principal is a bad kid. Three, I would intervene if I saw my bully getting beat up. Four, loudly announcing that someone has bad breath or they have ugly clothes is an example of bullying. And five, I would report my best friend for doing something bad, like cheating on a big test, no matter what it might be. So for each one, you're going to tell me if you agree or disagree, and then why. Is that here? Uh, wait, do we have to start one? We're not doing this yet. I bet you had a question. Well, uh, the, yeah, I do. Have What's up? Uh, this? Oh, no. Good job. Within the class. Then, and you can probably do extra options if you wanted to get out of that area. That's a few. What are the extra options? Like, what are That's why it's on the directions of the homework. No, but this like the So, for the uh, book report, once again, I have the paper. If you need one from me, it's either a quarter or five B points, or you can go out and get your own paper, and then you can measure it. It's 12 inches by 12 inches. You're going to fold it so it has little flappy things. In the middle, you're going to do two pictures. One picture is be a scene from the book, and the other picture is a different major scene from the book. You choose whatever you want your major scenes from the book to be. Then the flaps are going to have information. Uh, one will be the setting. You're going to tell me the when and the where with examples from the story and why that's important. One will be the characters, who is in the story, with explanations of who they are and why that's important. And then you're going to do the conflicts, which are going to be decisions and fights in the story and why those are important. And then plot will be the major things that happen, beginning, middle, and end, and all those parts. And then, that's it. That's like all the things you have to do. That's what you're going to do for this project. Questions from you guys? I just wanted to hit it again, now that you guys are going further. Zaire? Um, so I just read it and it says, read it, uh, there's like a question. Well, I don't know. Good job. Then you also have the other options if you want. Yeah. Is there a certain amount of information we have, have, to, have to have on each one? The more you do, the better. But once again, the answer will be directions. Yeah, I figured. Anything else from there? Then, bomb. Glad I can help. Bickle? Is there going to be a time again where you can turn in early for extra Yeah. Uh, I've already had one kid turn it in. Oh, so you can turn it in whenever. Eventually, I'll give it back to you because you have to have a grading sheet that goes with it. I just haven't given you the grading sheet yet. Okay. But I can take it and I'll hold on to it and stuff on there. Then, up to here. I need that. Let's see. Agree or disagree? I'm going to have you raise your hands and then we'll get a chance to go through and talk. The first one. I've enjoyed getting revenge on someone in the past. Raise your hand if you agree. Raise your hand if you disagree. All right. <laughs> Any kid that gets the attention of the principal is a bad kid. Agree? Disagree. Three. I would intervene if I saw my bully getting beat up. Agree? Disagree. I don't have a bully. Four. Loudly announcing that someone has bad breath or they have ugly clothes is an example of bullying. Agree? Disagree. All right. And five, I would report my best friend for doing something bad, no matter what it might be. Agree? Disagree. Split on a lot of those. Then back to the first one. Um, now that we've introduced the idea of ruthless, I'm going to change it just a little bit to sort of get more information. How many of you ha How many of you can... Regardless of enjoyment, how many of you guys can remember getting revenge on somebody for doing something? So raise your hand. I can remember at some point getting revenge on somebody for something. Raise your hand if you say, I can never remember ever getting revenge on somebody. All right, just checking. I was just trying to get an idea of where you guys are. Um, then the, a lot of the book is based on the idea of getting, did it finally come to you? Yeah. Let's back up. How many of you guys have older brothers, or have not older, older, younger brothers, siblings in one form or another? 
Do you not get revenge on them? Oh, oh no. No. Does that not, did you not count? I got uh, revenge on my girlfriend. Yes. Whoa. Getting revenge on family members still counts. As get, they don't count. Yes, they count. They are, they're, they're a human being. They're not a human They are still a human being. So getting revenge on, so now back up. How many of you guys are liars about getting revenge because you did not count people who are related? To, yes, you horrible children. Well done. All right. So... It's just some people expand revenge beyond just brothers and sisters, and they're like, oh, I'll get revenge on other people, too. <laughs> a lot of the book is based on the idea of getting revenge. How many of you are pro-revenge, and you think revenge is a fun thing to do? Sometimes. All right. How many of you guys are completely against it and won't take part in it, even if given the opportunity? <laughs> it's good to be a, a good... How many of you are just waiting until the right time before you get revenge? Wow, just thought I'd check on that one. You're like, yeah, I'm just waiting for that right person. I'm going to take him down. All right, so we'll find out how that works out then. Um, and so, yeah, that's what we'll... So did you get the whole thing done? Yay! And then the blue sheet, names on it, and names on the white one. And then put both those on the X. And then at the end of class, show me the uh, homework. Homework. Thing, yeah. Uh, so yeah, we'll be interested to see sort of how revenge works with you guys. Um, two, it connects to the idea of what makes a kid a bad kid or a good kid, because the kids in the story who are doing the revenge and doing all these elaborate pranks on other people keep declaring that they're good kids, but what they're doing is not good kid stuff. They're like, yeah, I'm, I'm a good kid. You just tortured that person. Yeah, I did, but I'm a good kid. So at what point does what you do make you not a good kid? So on this one, any kid that gets attention with the principal is a bad kid. Why do you disagree with that? For those of you who disagree, bomb. They might only be doing it because like there's something else going on with their life. Like maybe something happened to their family. Like maybe mm -hmm. a family member that was really important to them died, or their parents broke up. But can't anyone just make an excuse for why they do anything? I mean, if I just walk over and just start slapping the vet, and it's like, it's like, but I mean, my kid was like all cry this morning, and I was like, oh, excuses. Does that make it okay for me to slap Macbeth? No. You say, you say the word, I'm over there. No. Oh, yes. Not yeah. yeah. for sure. It's all excited. So, given, I agree that people have excuses, but does that excuse make it okay? Zaloy. Sometimes. Um, it depends on what it is, because if you like, you get a bunch of tardies and you get a detention, then that's just that's like, awesome. that doesn't mean you're a bad person. It doesn't relate to your taxes. But like, if you're like doing something else, like that is bad, then yeah, I guess it's bad. But like, it's just like a mistake. Like you have your whole life ahead of you. It doesn't mean that one detention is gonna ruin your life. True. I didn't right. say it's gonna ruin your life, it but and you're right. You can get different detentions for different things. I would agree. If you're done, you can put it on my desk and I'll take it from you, and then that's when you can stand and work on the other homework done. Um, but yeah, it does qualify as to the, the differences of what, I guess, because you can get detentions for tardy, but you could also get it for cheating. You could get it for having cigarettes in your locker. You could get it for just punching another kid. But the thing <laughs> is, it's still something that qualifies you for going there. Crenshaw? Um, I said both because it depends, like, if they were fighting off, like, I don't know, like, say there was, like, a bully punching someone for no reason, if they were, like, fighting off, like, they, like, grabbed them to, like, pull them back, and the teacher walked and saw what was wrong. Yeah, no, no, no excuses. They did, they were the one doing the punching. There is no... No, no like, I'm saying, like, if the one person that was, like, trying to stand up for the other person... Yeah, no, we're not, not doing that one. <laughs> that, you're trying to you're trying to find an excuse for them being like, but they have a heart of gold because they were like rescuing puppies. And so we all got to pick a group. Nope, I'm saying no. I'm just I just want you to make sure you're thinking both sides. That you're not trying to find an excuse for it. They did something that we qualify as bad. Does that they make do. them a bad person? No. They do. No, it's just because you're qualified being like Ooh, getting We're gonna come back to that, Mason. Um, what if they're like a really, really, really good person, but someone makes them really angry and hits them one time and they get a detention? Would that mean they're a bad person? Well, that's what it comes into. It goes back to what Zaloy just said, too. The idea that it was just a bad choice. But isn't that true of people in prison? Isn't that true of everyone? It was a bad choice. That's what makes it a bad thing. 
you all have the opportunity to do bad choices. The trick is, do you do those bad choices? When I have the kid that does no work and I just want to slap him upside the head, I can't just go and like, ah, well, it was a bad choice. I mean, I got grumpy. That's not the way it works. I then get forced to retire and don't get to teach anymore. So at some point, your choice defines who you are. And I'm not trying to make you go one way or the other. It's just I want to make sure that you think about that. As you get into the story, <coughs> it's kids who keep claiming they're good kids, but they keep making bad choices. So at some point, your choices are who you are. Yeah? So, I actually, I can actually see, I could see why that it's a bad kid, because I mean, like, I mean, it depends, because like, if they do it over and over again, yeah, they're making bad choices, so yeah, they could be technically a bad kid, because they're doing bad choices over and over But if it's just like one or two times, I mean, that's a little different, so something could be going on, or just they have and as someone pointed out earlier, too, they're like, they're not a bad kid. They're just someone who has issues, and they're having trouble with issues, which is also a good point. I completely agree, well, with the idea that just because you go there, it doesn't necessarily make you a bad kid. It's subjective, and subjective means it's open to your opinion. What you consider makes someone a bad kid is completely different than what someone else makes someone a bad kid. And so it's just the idea of keeping your eyes open and not jumping to conclusions. Three, if you saw the person at the top of your hate list getting the whoop down put upon them, do you stop it? Because that'll play a big role in this book, the idea of the people getting the whoop down. Do you do anything to stop it, or do you partake in it? Keys? I don't do anything, because I just... I just... I don't want to get involved with this, so I just stay back and do it. I just watch. <laughs> but watching is being involved. Because if we see evil occur and do nothing to stop it, that's the same thing as doing evil ourselves. So just leave. And so it's the same thing. If you just leave, that's the same thing. So you just stay there and do nothing. Because it goes back to, I mean, it goes back to the idea of racism. For the longest time, people are like, I'm not racist. But you see racism happening. Yeah, but you're doing it. But you're letting it happen. That's when you see the bad things happen, and you just go... Yeah, but I'm not doing it. I'm just not stopping it. Not stopping it is the same thing as you agreeing with it. So if you don't do something to stop it, you might as well jump in. And I'm not saying which one's right. I'm just saying morally, make your choice. So you don't, don't sit there and go, I'm going to wishy-washy. Which way? Nope. You commit or don't commit. Wait, what a teacher account? It's like, is telling a teacher, would that count as getting involved? That's do it getting involved. So you just got to get involved? I would, I would say that I would, like, get a teacher because I don't want to, like, get, I don't want to go and, like, push the bully off the ground. Right, but I can understand that. It can be a little intimidating, but at least running and telling you. That was bad. Tomorrow, we will get into the actual reading of it. Sorry we didn't get a chance to yell at each other more. Life goes on. Takes off! Run away!